The side effects of external beam radiation therapy uh, relate uh, less to the urinary tract and more to the rectum. So the rectum uh, with external beam radiation therapy gets a sizable dose of radiation and that can affect its function in both the short and the long term causing diarrhea and some rectal bleeding and tenderness which usually goes away in the uh, initial weeks after treatment. Uh, in the long term, radiation therapy has a similar effect on uh, erections as uh, surgery does, although the pattern is different. The pattern of erectile function is different. So usually during and in the immediate months and years after radiation therapy, men maintain their ability to have erections. But we think as the radiation effects on the blood vessels and the nerves builds up over time, that uh, they then experience uh, difficulty with erections down the road. So that if you look two to three years after treatment, surgery or radiation, the same percentage of men uh, have uh, difficulties with erections. One of the potential downsides of radiation therapy is that even if the cancer is cured, there can be long-term uh, effects, damage to the adjacent organs uh, near the prostate, the bladder, and the rectum. And although they're relatively rare, a few percentage of patients eight or 10 years down the road experience some bladder or rectal dysfunction from the radiation therapy even though their cancer is cured. For a radioactive seed implant, the main side effect in the short term again relates to the urinary tract, but it's not leakage like it is with surgery. It relates more to blockage type symptoms like men who have an enlarged prostate. So burning and frequency and feeling like you need to urinate frequently, uh, not emptying the bladder uh, completely, start about 10 days after the procedure, persist for a few weeks, and generally subside with time. Brachytherapy or seed implant can have the same effect on erections as external radiation does.